I logged on to Amazon to find the cheapest spinning reel I could possibly find, and I got this one for $14. What's going on everybody? My name's Eric, you're watching the Flow Bass channel. It is so great to see your smiling faces right here in another video. So if you guys are a longtime subscriber of my channel, well not necessarily too long, but you'll have noticed that I did this video right here where I reviewed the cheapest casting reel that I could possibly find on Amazon. In this video with this reel, you know, things have kind of changed here. The times are obviously much different. You know, recently with the current world events that are going on, so many people have taken to the outdoors and a lot of them have picked up the hobby of fishing for the first time and I absolutely love that. It just warms my heart that so many people have gravitated to the sport that I love so much and we get to share the same experiences and people are just finding this new burning passion for fishing, which is absolutely great. A lot of people have actually reached out to me to kind of ask my opinion on what gear should I get? What rod and reel, what baits, uh, what line? And the commonality between all the messages that I received was that they don't wanna spend a lot of money because it's their first setup and they don't know if they're going to enjoy fishing fully or do it for the rest of their life. So they wanna get something halfway decent, but still pretty cheap. So that led me to make this video. What I wanted to do was get the cheapest reel I could possibly find that's gonna cover all of the bases. So if you wanted to do saltwater fishing, you can do that. If you wanted to catch some larger fish, like maybe Jack Cravals, you could do that. Or if you wanted to take this out into some ponds, lakes, the Everglades, you can go out there and catch some bass, gar, maybe come out here to Florida, catch some peacock bass, and still you know, be able to cover all the bases and just find a good all around reel. And this one just happened to be the absolute cheapest. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is this weird stowage feature that it has. That's a little interesting. But uh, other than that, it seems like a solid reel in my hand, but we're definitely gonna put this to the test and just see if it's actually worth spending the money, especially for someone new into fishing that isn't quite sure if they're gonna like it. So I think this reel paired up with you know, a cheap rod you can find at Walmart. I went to my local Walmart and there's plenty of selections out there. There was a really great medium heavy rod for about, I think it was 24 bucks. I don't know, I'll throw in the clip right here. Paired up with that rod, if you're gonna be doing live bait or, you know, artificial fishing, you're under 40 bucks and in a really good spot to get into fishing, not invest a ton of money and have a lot of fun. What I'm gonna do is rig this up on one of my rods and we're gonna, the first spot we're gonna head to is a place that's really unique to me. I really enjoy fishing it, but it's got some strong fish in it. You guys may have seen a video of it in the past on my channel. If not, check it out right there. And we're gonna see if we can really put this reel to the test, put some pressure on it, get the drag screaming and just, you know, is it gonna warp this thing? Who knows, but we're gonna find out Thanks for coming along guys, I'll see you at the spot. God, guys, this is better. This is better than a jack. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What's going on? Guys, this is better than a jack. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, guys. Massive snook, massive snook. Massive snook. Guys, we're just hooked up to a massive snook right now. It's not that massive, but it's good. There he is, guys. Do you see him in that clear water? Look at him head shake. I don't have real heavy drag. 
I mean, we can put a little pressure on them, I think. Oh my God, I'm shaking so bad. I'm shaking so bad, guys. I'm shaking so bad. I've tried to catch these snooks so bad and I can't do it. But lo and behold, when I just hide, I catch a snook. Look, he's right here. He's right here, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. All right. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get go down and get him. This is a really, really nice snook, and we got him in the corner of the mouth. I know. Just bite down, buddy. Bite down. It's okay. I just caught it. I just caught it. Guys, we just caught this awesome freshwater snook. I can't believe it. I've got a nice woman behind the, behind the camera right now. She's a lifesaver. But here it is. I'm gonna mark it on the rod and we're gonna release it and I'll tell you what the, uh, the measurement is in a little bit. All right, just gonna mark the rod right there. Thank you so much, you're awesome. Wow, you guys, freshwater snook can't believe this. It's ready to go. We're going to flip her around. Just give her some shakes. Getting that lactic acid out. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. You ready, girl? She's kicking on her own. Give her another second. All right, girlfriend. So that was my PB snook of all time. And guys, I'm not a saltwater fisherman. I don't target snook that often. I've been trying to get slowly back into it, but that was 100% a fluke catch. That snook ate the bait and because I got so lucky, it was kind of, it swallowed the bait whole and realized there was a hook in its mouth. So it was doing head shakes. It was just sitting in the same spot doing head shakes. I'm sure you could see it when I walked up to the rod and started reeling, it was just sitting right there trying to spit the hook out of its throat. And then when I got gained line tension, that's when we got it in the corner of the mouth. Absolutely the most fluke, luckiest catch of my life. Guys, they just showed up right in front of me. We are hooked up to a jack, guys. I don't know if he knows he's hooked yet. They just appeared right in front of me. I was walking down the bank, following my bobber with the current. Oh man, where's he at? He's right here. Wow, it came out of nowhere. My bait was just in the grass, and as soon as I tossed it back in, it must have been right in front of its nose. All right, we're hooked up and the jack's going in the opposite direction. Yeah, kind of just doing jacky things. He's going in circles. But this is actually a decent fish. I can't move it. Can't really gain on it, so. <laughs> I'm excited to see what this fish actually looks like. Where's he going? Where are you going? Where is he going? Okay, man, I hope you guys can see him. He's dogging hard. So fighting this fish, you could see the drag is not incredibly smooth. So far, that's my only complaint aside from this weird wonky handle that collapses. 
Yep, there we go. Got a first glimpse of him. First glimpse, he's he's got. I can't speak. This is so sick. Come on, buddy. A couple more clicks of drag. Yeah, that's a really nice, really nice size jack. That thing's a tank. Oh man. Got another sight of them. It's a pretty decent size jack, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a ginormous freshwater jack. I don't know what he's trying to do. It's going right up next to the bank. There, there's the run. Now I think he knows he's hooked now. I don't know, he's just, I don't know what he's trying to do. I wonder if he's trying to break me off on the rocks. See, he's right up there at the bank. Holy cow. Oh, broke off. That was it. Oh. The teeth wore right through the leader, guys. That's that 20 pound but I had to drop down to 20 pound. I just wasn't getting the bites. It's been about four hours since that snook showed up. And uh, yeah, it's been a struggle. So I dropped down to a 20 pound leader. I saw the jacks cruise by a couple times. They just wouldn't touch the bait. So I ended up, I mean, I was forced to retie, but that's when we got the bite with the smaller leader. So, man, that was a really nice fish. Just wore through me with his teeth. And so far, well, I don't know, let me retie and we'll see how the reel sounds and feels in a second. Well, good morning ladies and gentlemen we are out here on lake ida to wrap up this video and test out this reel on some peacock bass maybe some largemouth and if we're lucky a clown knife fish but i'm not counting on the clown i'm counting on the peacocks today because you know i want to put this reel to the test and make repeated cast after cast after cast and hopefully hook up after hook up after hook up and just really put it to the test, catch as many fish as I possibly can within a few hours. Weather's not looking too good. As you could tell, we're gonna get after it. It is about 7.20 right now. Made a long haul to get out here and be the first person at this spot because if you fish Lake Ida, you know the competition's fierce. So we're gonna start throwing top water. I've got some jerk baits. I've got all kinds of peacock lures. So that's what we're gonna go after and uh, see if we can get it done and test out this reel. All right, so since Threadfin Shad is the prevalent forage, we are gonna be throwing the white whopper plopper this morning. Hopefully peacock bass react. It's gonna really be a pain throwing this on spinning gear, but that's what we're testing out today. So that's what we're doing. I'm trying to will my inner Lawson Lindsay and uh, be accurate with spinning gear. He's like the only person I've ever seen that actually can make accurate casts with this stuff. Me, I'm a baitcaster guy when it comes to this. So uh, doing the best I can. Probably gonna go through a few lures and totally miss like I just did. So we'll make it happen. Just don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna come too easy. Missed it. Got him, got him. It's a small one. Is it a bass? It's a bass, I think. Yep, yeah, LMB. No way, there's more than one fish going after this. More than one fish. Definitely gotta tighten the drag. There we go. Easy release. I was messing with the trolling motor. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Got a little peacock. Little, eh, he's okay. Pushing two and a half, I wanna say. All right. I'm not boat flipping this rod. It's not made for boat flips. There we go. Eh, he's closer to like two. And I say he, 
because you can see that little bit of a hump he has. Obviously not a spawner or else that hump would be gigantic, but awesome. Nice start to the day. He's actually been caught before. You can see he's been caught before. This place gets hit hard and heavy on a daily basis. On the Amazon's cheapest reel. So I know it looks like he's ready to go, but obviously he's scared. That's why they thrash so much. You wanna just give them a couple shakes, make sure they have some water flowing through their gills, gets rid of that lactic acid. But I think he's, he's, good. he's good and ready to go. And he cruises off to the bottom. Awesome. So pretty simple, you guys, if you've watched the channel, uh, Whopper Plopper 90, you know this thing catches the peas. Not surprised whatsoever, awesome little fight. But uh, the reel, I mean, we caught bigger fish on this, as you saw, but that's not the point of today. Today, I mean, we caught the bigger fish, we know it handles it, but I do gotta say, it's a little noisy. After, how many fish was it? Just basically two, a couple of little baby snook that I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but I uh, didn't land them, I kind of just played them out and let them jump off. I mean, they were like this big. Let's keep on catching. Before you go, on, yes, this is how I edit, but before you go anywhere, guys, I'm doing a giveaway, so don't click off the video. Basically, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is go to my Instagram and find this post right here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, drop a comment on that post, just say snook. And what I'll do in a few weeks is a random comment picker and pick the winner. What you're going to be winning, might you ask? Well, it is going to be a $50 box of lures. And some of the things you might win, well, one of them that you will win is stuff like this. Stuff that I actually use, I catch bass on, stuff that I love. Definitely not cheap lures, so definitely enter that giveaway. I do them every 1,000 subscriber milestone. I'm a little behind. I got to do one for 9,000, which is this video. And then the next video, I'm going to randomly put in there what to do, how to enter, and it is going to be huge for 10,000 subscribers. Definitely more than $50 worth. So I appreciate you so much. That's why I do these giveaways, and we'll get right back into the video. Come on, eat it. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Not terribly large, but had to rip them out of there. <laughs> it's cool, I got the drag pretty tight. Whew. One, to get these peacocks out from under the docks, but two, to really put some pressure on the reel. All right, got spot lock on. Let's do it with this guy. Ugh. These guys are so strong, that's why. I love them so much. Look at the nice dark bars on that fish. Really healthy. He has been caught before. Can you guys see it in the chest cam? That little hole right in his lip. But that's just how amazing these fish are. They get so pressured. They're caught over and over again. And yet this guy still came out and crushed. And as you can see, that is a male. Gorgeous fish, nice and dark. Look at those nice, almost ruby red pectoral fins let's get him back all right he slipped out of my hands but good to go I wasn't even ready for it. Oh my goodness. I think this is a, it's a largy, yeah. It's a decent one, holy cow. Classic grass point largy. That's right, buddy. Pull a little bit. There we go. Nice. 
<laughs> wow, classic largemouthy, and this is a fairly decent fish for Lake Ida. Pretty decent. Like I said, he's skinny, but uh, he's got a nice big old mouth for a largemouth. Hence the name, I guess. Real handled it nicely. Um, but guys, it's, uh, I'll show you what it's doing after we get a weight, okay? Scale's on zero, we're on zero. I'm real curious to see what he weighs. Calm down, buddy. Yeah, not quite three. He is two pounds, 12 ounces. This guy's got a little beat up face. Been caught a few times. That's kind of just how it is. Make sure he is good to go. Real sharp teeth. I wonder what this guy's feeding on. All right, see you, bud. Woo! All right, so let me tell you what's going on with this thing. So I've been doing a lot of casts. I've probably made like 5,000 casts today and something very strange is happening. So what I do is I cast it out, kerplop. I flick the bale closed, which, you know, this guy's getting a little loose, but I don't click the bale closed when I crank the reel. I do it manually. It's what you're supposed to do. But uh, when I go to give this like a, a crank, every once in a while it's like stuck it's like it doesn't want to move freely and then you uh, and then it starts starts reeling and it happens intermittently it's not all the time so $14 reel I mean what should I really be complaining about nothing really shouldn't be complaining about anything I'm gonna probably tie on a jerk bait uh, just seems these fish are hanging a little bit deeper around the grass edges I can definitely move a few fish. They come up and they show themselves, but they don't really fully commit. And I've had quite a few uh, short strikes as well. So I think the uh, slash bait or jerk bait is gonna be the ticket. Let's find out. Oh yeah, got, got, got one. He rocketed out of there. Come on, come on, force him out of there. Nice. Very nice, gorgeous fish. And we got him. He's, he's pretty feisty. Real beautiful fish. I don't know if I can get the sun on him. Can't really see him that well, but uh, super beautiful fish. Um, a little over two pounds. Really, really gorgeous colors. A lot of uh, chartreuse and emerald on his cheeks. I love it, absolutely love it. Such pretty fish. All right, here we go. Not sure how much, oh, you good? Oh. Get out of here, dude. Ooh, strong kick, strong kick. All right, here we go. I still wanna hit some of these docks, maybe get one more good fish. That guy put up a pretty good fight, but I wanna see if we can get something that's gonna peel a little bit more drag and uh, yeah, but other than that, I mean, I'm grinding that reel in um, definitely putting a lot of pressure on it. So far it's performing flawlessly, except for that smoothness. It's just, it doesn't have it anymore. It's kind of grindy and it definitely, it definitely sticks when you start to reel it. So it's only $14. LMB, there we go, not a big one, but it's a bite. Oh, hunchback of LMB, holy cow. This poor guy almost has like that snook hunchback. Man, this poor little dude. Obviously he got this big though, not for uh, nothing because he smashed the top water, but we're gonna let him go. Not uh, take too many pictures of this, dude. Bye bye. There we go. There we go. Got him on the pause. Oh, there's that's what I'm talking about. Pulling hard. We only got back hooks. 
Got him. There we go. Oh, he's still trying to swim. There you go. Nice male peacock. Definitely the Monocolis genus species. I love these guys so much. They're so... The Lake Ida peacock are just so different than the Miami peacock. Excuse me. There we go. So you can see my bright smiling face because I am stoked. I'm catching peas. And that reel is, uh, I mean, it's doing the job, but it's definitely more like uh, an ax when you need a scalpel. Look at that gorgeous male peacock bass right there. Those greens on his cheek, the orange, and then of course that pistachio white. <laughs> Love it. All right, there you go. You didn't want to say hi anymore. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So, just about done here on Lake Ida. You know, had an awesome day out here. Definitely lots of fish, awesome peacocks, some bass. Gotta love it. And then yesterday, that snook and the jack was, you know, not... I guess it wasn't exactly the video I intended to make starting off, but... Hey, I'll take a 36 inch snook any day of the week over a, a Jack Creval, even if it's a bit a better fight with the Jack. The snook just, you know, they've got a much more special place in my heart than uh, Jack Creval, but I definitely uh, don't leave them out of the running. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up here, uh, head back to the ramp, and then I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts once I get back to the office, sit down, cool off, eat some lunch, and just kind of give you my thoughts on what I think about the reel, kind of things to look out for. Let's uh, kick it into gear and get back to the ramp. All right, guys, so is the $14 reel a viable option for someone who might be new into fishing or just doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money and get something pretty decent? Well, if this video wasn't clear enough, yes, absolutely. This is definitely, definitely a viable option. You know, it's great that it's a 4000 series. It's got a ton of extra line that you can use for maybe some beach fishing, offshore, or well, not, not too deep offshore. And we're not talking about, you know, 150 feet, maybe up to 60 or 80. Um, but also you can chuck lures on this all day and not get fatigued. So definitely, definitely a viable, viable option. Now there was a few issues that I did learn about this reel as I was using it, but Guys, considering the price point of $14, you really have to nitpick to find faults with this. But I will name a few just for the sake of this video. Um, the first thing was the drag. When I was fighting that snook and the jack, the drag just was not smooth whatsoever. And what that's going to translate when you are fighting those fish is having a nice fine-tuned drag that's very, very smooth and not sticky. You're just gonna be able to apply the right amount of pressure to that fish as you get more experienced, of course, that's something you'll learn, but you'll be able to apply that more pressure to that fish very, very precisely so you can apply the maximum torque, get that fish in fast, get your pictures, get it released back in the water so it can get be caught another day. A couple other things is if you take a look at the line lay on the spool, it is sort of in an hourglass shape. Now that's not a deal breaker whatsoever, but having a nice flat line lay on the spool it's just going to allow you to make farther casts so that's just one of those things now we're not on the cape cod canal trying to cast to the other side these big topwater plugs for striper or anything like that but it's just again that's just a little nitpicky thing and then of course kind of my final grudge about this is yeah she's uh she's a little grimy inside not the most sealed reel now i have to admit it did rain on this so part of that is my fault for letting water get inside here but it's still just you know it's still a little grindy after fighting that jack and uh considering that was only the second fish that's not so good for the novice fisherman someone who is just getting into the sport who might not be familiar with servicing a reel having to do that often might not be such a great thing but a good learning experience though so there is that but um, that's pretty much it guys this is definitely something that you can use to get started into fishing not spend a ton of money and they'll get something decent and be able to cover a lot 
of bases and not have like a huge you know arsenal of like 15 rods and reels you can get it all done with almost one maybe two get a cheap bait caster and uh, casting rod and uh, you'll be able to throw those top water plugs with more accuracy and a lot better tree but this will get pretty much everything else done so with that said guys if you're new to this channel if you're new to fishing hope this video helped you out I appreciate you watching and for all my subscribers that have been sticking with me this whole time appreciate you guys as well definitely don't forget I've got another video uh, giveaway coming up so stay tuned for that and uh, for all everyone who entered this giveaway good luck so with that said my name is Eric you're watching the flow bash channel I will see you in the next video make sure you bring those smiling faces peace out